Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be another declutter video. We are restarting my declutter series on my channel. I'm starting off with primers. This has just gotten so out of hand. I've decluttered my makeup collection. I don't even know how many times. I have a whole playlist, so if you guys are interested in binging some videos, I will link it down below. But we're going to start over. We're going to be more cutthroat than we have before, hopefully. <laughs> and um, yeah, this drawer literally will like not close um, because I have too many primers. This isn't even all of my primers, but it's most of them. This is all of them aside from the ones that are in my everyday makeup drawer, which those I'm not going to be going through because they're there for a reason. Um, but these are like my, my extra primers uh, that I cycle through when I switch out my everyday makeup drawer or if I like need to reach for one specifically, I'll come to this drawer and grab it. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I do want to give a couple of disclaimers. I know I have a lot of makeup. This is my job. I have a ton. I purchase a lot. A bunch of it is sent to me as PR. Um, and everything that I declutter is either gifted to my friends and family or um, donated. And yeah, um, rarely anything has to be thrown away because nothing is like too, too old because I am constantly decluttering. But yeah, that that's that's that um so let's just go ahead and get into it if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get started i don't know if i should just go through them here or take them all out and put them on a blanket on the floor i'm kind of thinking that would be easier um so i'm gonna do that here are all of my primers i have so many and they are spread all over the top of here. I actually decided to do neither of the two options that I suggested initially. I have my uh, tripod set up here now so I think I'll just put like the ones I'm keeping on one side and the ones that I'm getting rid of on the other until it fills up and then we'll reorganize everything at the end but here is a little overview of all of my face primers we have lots and lots of them this is other makeup that i need to put away but this all here is my primer collection we're gonna start strong and start off with a product that i will be decluttering this is from elf this is the poreless face primer this smells so strongly of tea tree oil it's not even funny i could not handle it and scent typically doesn't bother me so um this is not something that i ever have any interest to try again so i will be decluttering it and hopefully somebody else doesn't mind the scent as much as I do. The next primer I have is the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. This is a fantastic primer. I really do enjoy this product, but this is very old. Definitely probably at least two years old, so I am also going to declutter this. This is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I really enjoy this product, so I will be keeping it. I also have the original silk canvas primer, which I will be keeping. I have the full size here, and then I also have a little mini. I have two of these Too Faced hangover primers. I have the It's So Big one, and then the regular full size. I definitely don't need both of these, and the It's So Big one is newer, um, and I haven't used it yet, so I will pass that along to somebody else, and I will keep the regular full size one. This is the YSL Blur primer. I spent way too much money on this, so I will definitely be keeping it. I really like it. It's just not like my absolute favorite primer, but it is really nice. This is the L'Oreal Magic BB Cream Anti-Redness thing. Um, my boyfriend Jarvis picked this out for me during uh, Vlogmas last year, and I definitely was not a fan of this, unfortunately, so I will be passing this on. I'm definitely keeping my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this stuff so much. I haven't used it in forever. This is the Morphe Equalizer Primer. This is like a silicone pore filling type primer. I have the Revitalizer Primer from them, which is actually like set aside for a video that I'm going to be filming soon, and I really like the Revitalizer one. The Equalizer one is nice, but I definitely don't need this so I can declutter this one. This primer is from Tarte. This is the Timeless Smoothing Primer and I really enjoy this. I like it a lot but you have to be careful. It only use a little bit otherwise um, it gets like pilly and weird um, but if you just use a little bit this is fantastic so I'm gonna keep this. This is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I've had this for a while um, but I haven't used it as much as I would have liked so I definitely want to keep this and try it out some more. I have two of these Laura Mercier Foundation Primer one is brand new in the box and then one is open um, the thing is I have a ton of Laura Mercier primer um, and I don't know like I'll show you guys like this is the older packaging and like these ones 
I don't know. Let me see if I can focus this. I don't know if this is like repackaged permanently or if this is like a completely different product. But if I were to use a Laura Mercier primer, I think I would go for the newer ones, like the ones in the other packaging. So I actually think I'm going to declutter both of these. Never in my life did I think that would happen. <laughs> This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Hydrating, and uh, they have, where is it, a hydrating one in the newer packaging. So this is the Pure Canvas Primer Hydrating. I love this primer so much, so I will keep this one, and then I will pass this one along. We're doing good. We're doing good. Honestly, I am very proud of myself so far. Next, I have these two little mini primers from Too Faced, and I always tell myself I'm going to like bring these with me when I'm traveling or something, but I literally have never done that so um hello can we focus i'm gonna go ahead and pass both of these along next i have some benefit primers we have the original professional and then the professional hydrate primer and i love both of these i will be keeping both of them our two sides are getting kind of full so i think i'm gonna empty them out and then start refilling them and then i'll show you guys the official before and after and like my declutter pile versus my keep pile and all of that. I accidentally bumped into the camera, so I'm sorry if the angle changed a little bit. Moving on, um, I have this primer here from Pat McGrath. I really love this primer so much. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I hate the packaging of this. It was very expensive. This is something that once I finish it, I definitely, well, probably won't repurchase it just because the packaging like irks me and I don't love it enough to spend that much money on it again, um, but I will be keeping it for now until I finish it up. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. I used this once, um, so I can't say that I could give like a really good review or opinion on this, but with how many primers I have, I don't see myself using this anytime soon, um, so I am going to pass this one along. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Longwear Primer. I love this stuff so much. I bought it from Walmart not too long ago, and it's amazing. I definitely want to try more from Hard Candy. I'm definitely keeping my Fenty Matte Pro Filter Primer. I really, really love this stuff. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is an amazing product, but... Well, like I said earlier, I have way too many primers and I don't see myself using this anytime soon and I'm pretty sure this is still sealed so I'm going to pass this one along. This is where things are going to start to get tricky because I kind of saved a lot of the ones that I want to keep towards the end. <laughs> So, we'll see how it goes from here. I have my Farsali Liquid Glass and my Skin Tune Blur, and I love both of these products, so I'm going to keep both of them. I have two primers from Believe Beauty, and as a lot of you guys know, the Believe Beauty Foundation is my all-time favorite foundation. Um, this one, this primer here, is actually basically empty, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. This is their hydrating primer. I really enjoy this product, um, but... I have way too many hydrating primers. And then this is the Radiantly Primed Face Primer, and I have some other Radiant Primers that I enjoy more than this one, even though this one is great, and I would recommend both of these products. I just don't have room for them. <laughs> so for now, well actually, well not for now, but I will be decluttering these, um, but I love Believe Beauty products so much, and yeah. Here are two other Radiant Primers that I absolutely love. These are the two that I'm going to keep over the Believe Beauty one. I have the Laura Mercier Illuminating Pure Canvas Primer and the Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. My friend Bella just got me this, so of course I'm going to be keeping it. This is the No Pore Blend Priming Water from Touch and Soul. I'm really excited to try this out. All right, had a quick watermelon break, but we are back. Um... I'm kind of stuck now and I don't know what to do because I definitely need to declutter some more primers, but I don't know what I can declutter. I have all three of these e.l.f. putty primers, but I definitely don't need all of them. Um, I'm definitely going to keep, definitely, how many times can I say definitely? Uh, wow, I've used this one like once. This is the poreless putty primer. Um, I want to keep this one since this is like the famous one that everybody loves so much. So if I ever need it for a video, I will have it. Uh, we have the matte putty primer, which um, I've only used this one like twice. Um, I don't know. And then the luminous putty primer. I definitely don't need the luminous one, so that one can go. 
I'm gonna put this in the middle for like maybe. This is the Mega Jelly Primer from Wet n Wild. I love this primer, it is so good. Um, so I'm for sure gonna keep it. I have these three from Laura Mercier and I really wanna keep all of them. Um, so I'm gonna keep the blurring and the perfecting. So these two, and then I'll declutter the broad spectrum one, just because I will use like a separate SPF. Um, but I really want to keep it. I'm gonna put it in the maybe, and I'll keep these, and then I'm gonna empty all of these out, and then we'll finish up. Okay, so as for my two maybes, I'm actually gonna, just gonna split them. I'm gonna keep the Laura Mercier one, and I will declutter the matte putty primer. This is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I love this primer so much, so I'm gonna keep it. I have both of these priming oils, one from Morphe, one from Smashbox. I definitely don't need to keep both of these even though I really want to for some reason. Um, so I'll keep the Smashbox one and declutter the Morphe one. This is my last Laura Mercier primer. This is the Pure Canvas Power Primer and I'm gonna keep it. This is the Kylie Face Primer. Um, uh, maybe. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I actually bought this for a specific video that I really wanna film. But I haven't filmed it yet, so for now I'm going to keep it. And then these are my last two. So we have the base tape from Tarte and the silicone free priming moisturizer from Good Molecules. I love both of these products. Um, well, actually, I didn't think I loved the Tarte one until I started using it the past like week and a half. I've used this like probably like five or six days in the last week and a half, and I really have been enjoying it. I also love the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. It's an amazing, affordable option. You can get it from Beautylish. Good Molecules is an amazing skincare brand. Um, I guess I'm going to keep the Tarte one and I will declutter the Good Molecules one even though like there's literally nothing wrong with this and I really love this product. I just can't keep all of them. So I had a good time with this product while it lasted um, and I really hope that somebody else enjoys it as much as I do. That's my justification for <laughs> decluttering it. And then I think I'll keep the Kylie one. Um, so now I'm going to reorganize and count all the ones that I'm keeping into this container and then I'll show you guys and count all the ones that I'm decluttering. Alright, so here is the drawer after. I know I still have a lot of primer in here, um, but I ended up keeping 28, which I know that's ridiculous and it's still probably too many, but I seriously am so happy with all of these primers and it makes me feel really good. Um, and a couple of them are closer to being done, like this Pat McGrath one, which makes me happy, so that is good. These are all the ones that I'm decluttering. We have 18 primers that I'm decluttering. That is a total of 40% of my primer collection being decluttered, so we're not quite at half, but getting pretty close, so I'm really happy with it. Um, literally all of these are still good. The only ones that probably aren't good to pass on are the Touch and Soul, and then these two little minis because those are probably really old but everything else will go to a new home and hopefully be loved by the new person i don't know what i'm talking about i'm rambling um but anyway uh that was my primer declutter i hope you guys enjoyed next i'm going to be doing foundations and i know i have a lot of foundation that i need to declutter some of these like these over here are like three years old uh so this will be part two i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up i love you guys so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye